Hello everyone, my name is Kenton Cavestu. I'm an ex-Googler, an ex-BCG consultant, and the founder of RocketBlocks, an online platform that helps candidates prepare for interviews. In today's RocketBlocks mini lesson, we're going to talk about an important generalized piece of career advice, which is how to write a career networking blurb. This is something that no one ever really seems to talk about, but is really critically important in the networking process and landing a job for a lot of different folks in all sorts of different career paths, consulting, product management, analytics, you name it. Any sort of career path you're looking at, this is often a critical step in getting your foot in the door. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about what is a career networking blurb, when do you actually use it, and then we're gonna go sentence by sentence and talk about how to actually craft a good one. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what is a written blurb? It is a four to five sentence written blurb that you can use to give a teaser of your career experience to date and connect it directly to your intent and interest in a specific career opportunity. Now, you might be thinking, wait, how is that different than a resume or just a LinkedIn profile? And the reason it's different is because both of those documents, the resume and LinkedIn profile, are a general, all-purpose, description of your career and professional experience to date. What they don't have, importantly, is intent, your intent about a specific career opportunity and something that you're interested in doing. And that is the key difference between those documents and a career networking blurb, which is going to take a little bit of your, your professional experience, but specifically connect it and signal your interest in a specific opportunity. Okay, so when do you use a networking blurb like this? Well, often in job searches these days, you may find a role that you're interested in at a particular company, and you don't know anyone at that company, but you do have a contact somewhere in your network that knows someone at that company and may be able to introduce you. So this is the perfect scenario for one of these networking blurbs. And what you want to do is reach out to your contact, to him or her, and you know, ask if they would be willing to make an introduction on your behalf to the person you're interested in meeting, whether it's the hiring manager or a recruiter or just someone on that team that's gonna tell you more about this opportunity and answer some questions you have. And in that email you send to them, you pass along your networking blurb. And that means that whoever's on the receiving end of that email not only gets an email that just says, hey, there's someone that's interested in this role, but they get a little blurb that says, hey, here's Kenton, here's his background, he's really interested in X role. And then it gives that person a lot of context about your interest and about who you are that immediately helps them evaluate whether you might be an interesting fit for that role and gives them the information they need to either accept that introduction or to reach out to you directly. Okay, so that's when to use it. Now let's move to the next section. We're actually going to look at one of these blurbs and break it down sentence by sentence and figure out how to craft one. Great. So now let's actually take a look at the blurb. So I'm going to put up the blurb here. You can pause the video, take a read through the blurb, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just walk through it sentence by sentence and talk about the different components of this and how it all comes together. Cool, so let's walk through this sentence by sentence now. The first sentence is basically a, who am I? I introduce myself, my name, and then provide a tiny little snippet that shares where I've worked in my professional career to date. And then you'll notice I have a link there, full background here, which actually goes to my LinkedIn profile. And the purpose for that is you're providing such a short snippet there of where you've actually worked and what you've done, that by providing the link, you give someone the opportunity to go learn more about what you did at each of those companies on your LinkedIn profile if he or she is interested. Okay, so that's the first sentence. Then the second and third sentences, this is the area where you want to pull out and highlight some of your relevant experience. You want to think about what are the two or three most important points that I'd like to share from my personal experience that I think are going to help make me compelling for this role that I'm interested in. So I've pulled out a few points here from uh, my past two jobs that I highlighted in this case that I think are sort of relevant to the role I'm reaching out about. Okay, so let's go on to the fourth and fifth sentences now. This is where you indicate what role you're specifically interested in and what you're reaching out about. So this is a fictional role at YouTube that I've made up. 
and then you connect your interest and experience directly to that role and talk about how you think you'd be a good fit for you know x and y reasons and i've put in some specific reasons that are sort of personal to to me if this were a real example there and then the final sentence which if you're counting is the sixth sentence is the ask so this is basically where you say what are you actually looking for in this case i'm asking for a chat to learn more about this role and i specifically call out how he or she can reach me if they're interested in following up on this and that's important you want to make it clear how they should take action if they want to so that you don't write potentially a great networking blurb and then have the impact of it go by the wayside because someone isn't quite clear how they should reach out or your email isn't in there and then you know they get busy and, and lose track of things so overall this blurb is actually six sentences and if you were counting in the beginning you know i said four to five so it's a little bit longer than that but i think four to six is totally fine even if you go to seven sentences if it's all meaningful that's probably going to be totally fine you just want to make sure you don't get to the point where you're writing 15 or 20 or 30 sentences, and then it's basically turned into a whole long cover letter rather than a short, little, concise blurb. Okay, that should give you a good idea of what a career networking blurb looks like and how to craft an effective one. I think that these blurbs are actually really tough to write, even though they're only four to seven sentences as we said, but if you invest the time to write them, I think they can be one of the highest ROI pieces of writing you'll ever do in your career. I've had a handful of jobs over the course of my career so far, and three out of four of them started with writing a blurb, just like the one I showed you earlier. So I think if you invest the time now, it will pay dividends down the line. So thank you so much for watching. We have a ton of great content coming out on both the product management and consulting career paths. So if you haven't subscribed yet, there is a big red button below. We'd love for you to do that now. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.